select and by pressing uh, B box selection select this and do the same thing by pressing B in each corner B and B here as well and press X to leave the faces tap out of edit mode and go to solid view we've got some space inside of the tower okay that's great so actually to create the one two three more towers so each for each corner we're gonna be using the mirror modifier but first we need to select walls with a pivot point still here press shift s cursor to select it select the tower and change the origin to 3d cursor and now go to modifiers select the mirror modifier and see we have already duplicate it's actually mirror mirror copy along the x axis and when you tick y that's what you have uh, now we will create the corn is actually kind of crown for the tower so go to top view with this face selected the face on top press shift s press it selected seven z and press shift a uh, five to go to orthographic view all right and press shift a add mesh i'm sorry go out of out of edit mode by pressing tab shift a add mesh plane scale it down Tap to edit mode, E to extrude, Z, and bring it up. Now uh, we need to add some loop cuts, so Control R. There's one loop cut and uh, scrolling your mouse wheel. We need to a add eight loop cuts. The same thing here on this side. Five, six, seven, eight. The left click to confirm and uh, face selection mode and one hold down the shift select these faces E to extrude and Z and bring them up tap out of edit mode and the same way as we did the mirrors for a tower actually change the name first all right tower 
Five minutes. Whatever. So select the walls. Shift S. Cursor selected. With the tower corner selected, change origin to 3D cursor. Go to modifiers. Add modifier. Mirror. Y. And there we go. But we're not gonna be. We won't. We don't want to apply the modifiers yet because later when we will be texturing, you know, the tower. Uh, while texturing one, the all the copies gonna be textured. Uh, if you apply the modifier, you then you have to texture each one separately. You know, so we'll do it later. And now we need to create the gatehouse. Seven. Go to the top view. Shift A, add mesh plane, rotate R ninety. I mean, sorry, rot R X ninety. Enter. Go to the front view. Bring it up. Z. Tap to edit mode. Vertex selection mode. A to D select. Select top vertices. Bring them to about the height of the catwalk. I to deselect, tap out of edit mode, scale X, and scale it up like this. Seven, bring it in front. One, go to the front view. Shift S, cursor to select it. Shift A, add a circle, rotate. X ninety enter scale tap to edit mode A to D select B select the bottom vertices and press X delete vertices tap out of edit mode select the plane we are using for Gatehouse one, I think it's way too big. So, press with the plane selected, press SX, scale along the x axis, and select the walls seven. Tap to edit mode B, select. SX and bring them closer. All right. So the plane selected. We'll tap to edit mode. Face selection mode. Select the face X. Only faces. Edge selection. Select the bottom edge X delete edges and now uh, select the circle half circle tap to edit mode vertex selection select these two vertices and press E to extrude and Z and bring them down like that A to deselect with the half circle still selected, hold down shift and select the plane. All will be ever left from the plane and press Ctrl J to join the selected meshes. Press the edit mode, tap the edit mode and uh, selecting these two vertices, press F and the same thing on the other side, press F and now we have uh, if you go to the solid view you see we've got just a frame so we need to fill it in tap to edit mode press 8 to select all and control F and select fill option and uh, in, the in the top view by pressing 7 press E to extrude and Y and bring it back like this <coughs> to 
to make this this area smooth, we go. We need to go to edit mode, one, Z, so, and by box selection, select these vertices, actually faces, now, and uh, press smooth button here. And when you go out of edit mode, you see in a, in a rendering this is gonna be smooth. Okay. If you see some artifacts, it's not case here, but if you see, you need to select all and press Ctrl N to recalculate normals outside. We need to bring the corner, create the corners for for this. Ah, oh, I see, I see. We've got a gap actually here because we seven Z. See when we we'll actually pulling these vertices from a wall closer together we didn't do this we need to do the same thing with the catwalk so with the catwalk selected seven tap to edit mode vertex selection mode B and B again S X and bring them closer uh, that's it okay and now go to select the Alright, select the gatehouse and change the name. Gatehouse, enter. With the corner selected, 7 to the top view, Z to wireframe, tap to edit mode, press B and select uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. Press now, actually, now just four of them and just move them to the front. It's gonna be a different way in your model because we are not make doing it exactly to scale. That's why it will be definitely different, but you need to find a way how to do it. Select this one and press Shift D, bring it here, R, 90, enter, grab, bring it here, A to be select, select these two vertices, bring them back, oh, Control Z, I said these two vertices. A, B, this, and B, bring it here, oh, I'm doing that, I need to deselect B, and I'm just playing around, you know, trying to align things nicely, and select this one, press shift D X and move it on the other side like this eight to select we've got some big gaps here so I'm selecting these vertices plus S X and make these two a bit bigger that's not a problem if we it's gonna look look more interesting. Compile and save or control S save over. I think that's it and now we need to create the gatehouse base. So go to seven Z click somewhere here press shift A add mesh cube Scale it down, and uh, the part th part three is coming soon. Uh, we'll be talking about some texturing finally. All right.